manufacturing tour. To ensure high quality of products and filter out defects, all wafers are carefully inspected before the solar cell production process. The first procedure of solar cell manufacturing process is texturing. During the process, inline type equipment is used for the wet etching of multi-wafers and batch type equipment for mono-wafers. The equipments are different in that multi-wafers are textured with acid while mono-wafers are textured with alkaline. Subsequently, the wafers are rinsed with deionized water to eliminate all chemical residues. The textured wafers are then doped for N-type emitter with phosphoryl chloride gas in the tube furnace. Loading and unloading takes place simultaneously during this diffusion process. The wafer is coated with silicon nitride film, which is deposited from plasma-enhanced chemical vapor deposition. This is an anti-reflection layer on the surface to reduce the reflection of light and enable surface passivation to reduce recombination. Screen printing is implemented to form metal electrodes on the cells. It requires the use of a printer and screen plate maker to apply metal paste on the screen mask. This process is called metallization. The electrodes are then fired to proceed to the N-type layer. Laser plays a fundamental role in the isolation process, which is crucial to prevent any possible leakage of current flow to the N-type layer. The final stage of cell manufacturing is the sorting. The cells are classified according to their respective cell efficiency. In addition to efficiency, the shunting for reliability of the solar cell is also measured before the module process. The first step taken in module manufacture is tabbing. About 8 to 12 cells are connected in a line of series, which is then called a string. In this process, there are three inspection machines to detect cracks and to ensure the current of strings. The next process is the layup. The strings are placed on a glass and ethylene vinyl acetate, and the back sheet is rolled out automatically. The solar cells are then encapsulated with glass, EVA, cells, EVA, back sheet, by the lamination machine. Three modules are laminated at once in vacuum at 165 degrees Celsius heat. Any defect products are carefully selected through a thorough inspection by human eyes. Even with slightest wrinkle on the product will be classified as defective. The modules that pass inspection are then edge taped and screw fixed on aluminum frames, which functions as buffer from exterior pressure. Each frame has 12 drain holes for rapid drainage and is deep anodized for superior resistance. The power output of completed module is measured under artificial sunlight in the simulator, in which the electroluminescent system also checks for microcracks.